Hi, my name is Janessa Jerram. I'm a policy analyst at the New Zealand Initiative, and I've just finished writing a report on inequality with my colleague, Dr. Bryce Wilkinson. So our report is called The Inequality Paradox, Why Inequality Matters Even Though It Has Barely Changed. As the report title kind of implies, we were interested in the trends around inequality. We were aware that there are rising stories on inequality, and there were certainly lots of commentators who wanted people to worry about rising inequality and how that matters for society. But what we were interested in is, has inequality increased over time? And if so, should New Zealand be worried? What we found was that even though stories about inequality had increased almost eightfold, inequality itself had barely changed when we're looking at income and spending. So I thought today I would share with you three important messages that we got from the report. First, the good news is that incomes are broadly rising across groups. So incomes are rising for the rich, incomes are rising for the poor, and incomes are rising for the middle class. That's a really great thing. We also looked at income mobility, which is how people's incomes change over time. And we found that New Zealand's income mobility is quite good. So even if you are poor for, say, one year or a certain period of time, the important thing is that you can move up over time. So now for the bad news. We found that while incomes are broadly rising across groups, we also found that housing costs are rising at an even greater rate. So even though incomes are rising, people are actually spending a lot more of their income on housing costs. So they have less disposable income to pay for food and other essentials. So if people are worried about inequality and the gap between rich and poor, what we really need to do is address the housing crisis. That's one of the major distractions at the moment with the conversation about inequality. We talk about um, rising incomes, the gap between rich and poor, and how we need to increase, say, welfare benefits or the minimum wage. But if housing costs keep rising at a great rate, then the gap will remain. The third thing I want to discuss is to do with hardship. So what's happening on the bottom? Even though inequality has barely changed, we still need to worry about hardship irregardless of inequality. We need to care about whether people are able to improve their income and wealth over their lifetime and over generations. That was something we looked at in our first report on poverty, and we're also going to be releasing a report next year on welfare, which will focus more on the recommendations of how to improve the livelihoods of those worse off in society, 